Hi, uh, today I will cover uh, domain model uh, design pattern. This domain model design pattern belongs to domain logic patterns and uh, this domain logic patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First we will see the explanation of uh, domain model uh, design pattern. Uh, this is the explanation. An object model of the domain that incorporates both the behavior and data or uh, an object model of the business that incorporates both behavior and data. Uh, usually this uh, over domain model will look like uh, database model suppose uh, in database some uh, five tables are there uh, then uh, your OO uh, domain model will have some five classes to represent uh, each uh, table okay and uh, the simple uh, domain model will look like uh, exactly look like uh, database design okay with mostly one domain object for each database table suppose database uh, has some five tables and uh, uh, the simple domain model will have some five classes uh, to represent each table okay and if you go for uh, some uh, complex uh, domain model or rich domain model uh, it uh, it look different from the database design because the complex uh, domain model will uh, have inheritance uh, and it will use some strategies and it will use some other patterns and uh, complex webs of uh, small interconnected objects uh, and the dependency between the objects and uh, the rich domain model is better for more complex logic so uh, if you use uh, more uh, complex uh, business logic then we can use uh, rich domain model suppose uh, uh, the business logic is not complex then we can go for simple domain model uh, the simple domain model has uh, for each uh, table uh, one uh, domain object will be there okay and uh, this rich domain model it is harder to map to the database so mapping between the data uh, database table and uh, the domain model is a little bit uh, a little bit uh, harder uh, it is complicated okay and uh, domain model is uh, over representation of uh, business uh, logic that we have already seen and uh, when we have to use uh, this domain model pattern is uh, if business logic is uh, complex or uh, uh, the business logic is changing uh, frequently then we can use uh, domain model pattern uh, we will see one example of uh, domain model pattern uh, here you can see a base class uh, it is extended by person and task and person is extended by a developer and analyst and task is uh, extended by a uh, project so this is uh, one kind of uh, uh, domain model okay uh, so corresponding to these classes uh, uh, the database will have uh, some uh, tables so database has uh, uh, tables like a person uh, task okay like that it will have uh, it will be some tables will be there and uh, corresponding to that uh, the tables we will represent in uh, classes uh, like uh, uh, like what uh, we are seeing here okay and uh, this is about uh, domain model design pattern thanks for watching bye